Yo, what's up? How are you doing? So today I'm going to be customizing a mouse, but first I'm going to show you the different tools that I use. First up, I have my toolkit, and I have a ton of different bits that I can use, along with other tools. Next up is my microfiber cloth. Next I have sorting containers, masking tape, super important, a sander, and my Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. This helps so much, along with my Rust-Oleum Clear Coat. So, let's get into it. So there's lots of steps to customizing a mouse. First, you have to take it apart, and that starts with taking off the mouse gates. So I'm using my X-Acto knife to get under and peel it off. Underneath, I found four screws that I used my toolkit and my Phillips head 001 bit to screw out of the base. Once I got the mouse apart, I started masking off the parts that I did not want painted. Using this tool, I was able to push the tape down and give myself a nice outline of where the line was. Using my X-Acto knife, I was able to score the tape and separate it. This process is very tedious and time consuming. So if you can, check underneath the mouse and if there's screws that will allow you to take off the backside and the mouse buttons, that will save you so much time. Unfortunately, this mouse didn't have those, so I had to use the masking tape. After having everything taped off that I don't want to paint, then it's time to move on to sanding it. Sanding is also a super important part to customizing a mouse. You need to make sure that all surfaces are covered and sanded properly for best results. Now for the first coat. I'm going with a red base. With this being a paint and primer, I didn't have to pre-paint with primer. Onto the second coat after about 15 minutes of dry time. And finishing it with a third coat. Next, we're going to be using a splatter method where I spray the paint on the cardboard, pick it up with a paintbrush, and flick it onto the mouse, giving a very satisfying splatter effect. Next, I'm going with a black splatter to complement the white. I went a bit lighter on the black splatter because I'm also going to be adding a black line. I masked off the two edges and painted a black line. After that dried, I finished it up with some clear coat to make sure everything stays and doesn't smudge. Clear coat tends to take a lot longer to dry than just normal paint, so I would recommend leaving it in a warm room or area to promote drying and leave it for a couple extra hours just to make sure so you don't smudge any paint. Next, we got a peel off, and this is probably the most satisfying part of customizing a mouse because you get to see what the final product will be along with the nice black uh, side grips that just complement the red and white and black splatter effect along with the black line. Got those nice clean middle mouse buttons for the DPI change and putting the mouse back together and screwing all the screws back in. Now reapplying the mouse skates, pressing it back down on the desk to make sure that it sticks. Making sure the mouse works properly and it works perfect. 
And this is the final product. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Comment your thoughts on how I can improve. And I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.